So let's find out whether I got the bloody variant of Bone Collector version 2. So let's get this started! So before we get this started, this is a Valiverse exclusive, and it's the 100th item in the line. And on the front here, as you can see, Action Force 100, and you got the Action Force logo on the back. This is just a simple a shipper. I haven't checked whether I got the bloody variant one or not. The tape is sealed. So let's go ahead, and I got my trusty scalpel here, and let's find out whether I got the bloody variant. I am stoked whether I got the variant or not it's been killing me so here we go in real time let's find out and no so that's just the regular version which is fine with me if you guys want to make a bloody variant all you have to do is paint it up with some red paint so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging very awesome package it's almost a shame to take this off the card you got some cool bones human bones in the background here valiverse logo unpunched got the action force logo and you got the bone collector item 100 14 plus and you can see the figure and all its glory in the bubble which is really awesome and on the back of the packaging here you can see an awesome piece of artwork of the bone collector with this mini gun Gatling gun firing away looks really awesome action force logo valorous logo five action points that will come in handy for the new exclusive that is coming up if you want to read the card you can go ahead and pause the screen right here looks awesome boring stuff on the bottom so I'm excited to take a look here is trusty scalpel gonna take it off the card So here's a quick shot of Bone Collector version 2 in the plastic imprisonment. Also, we have this kind of double tray system here with a black stand. And we have a case and uh, a bunch of accessories. So I'll get the accessories and the figure all out of its packaging and we'll take a closer look. So I've gotten the figure and all the accessories out of the packaging. Full disclosure, it's been a couple of days or so kind of an upset here as I was messing around with the mini gun or Gatling gun um, I kind of pushed on the handle here as you can see it broke uh, here is the piece it broke right off but there is a remedy for that if you need an extra piece you can always email Valiverse and they will replace it um, Bobby let me know or one of his uh, employees let me know that this comes apart if you didn't know so that is a bonus so speaking of bonuses i have the uh weapons pack golf here which as you can see there is a minigun gatling gun in this pack i haven't unboxed this yet so so bobby said he will send me a new piece but unfortunately i live <laughs> Unfortunately, I would have to pay for shipping to Canada. This is where I live. And uh, in the meantime, as I wait for, I guess, another exclusive. God damn it. As I wait for another exclusive to come in. So as you can see, uh, here is the unbroken Gatling gun. So just be careful here if you press. There is a, a really thin part right there, um, unfortunately. So we can take the unpainted barrel here and throw on the painted barrel so that way bone collector version 2 has a fully assembled <laughs> fully complete gatling gun so he will send me this part uh as soon as i make another order so i'm gonna be waiting uh, for that all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories um as you can see, I have fully assembled this and it is on kind of a, 
and angle the handle that way that he can hold the um, Gatling gun properly. This rotates, like I was saying, nice paint job on the barrel. Um, it, it does come apart like I was talking about. There is a handle here and just be aware, you know, this is a little bit fragile. So there is a painted, a painted ammo barrel here and that plugs in to this. So it just plugs in just like that. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm fairly certain it only goes in one way. I hope this, this is the correct way to assemble it. And you could see uh, a slot here that is on the Gatling gun and this ammo belt should fit. All right guys, so just be aware on this ammo belt, there are two sides. This side is more square and on the other side, it is more round, as you can see. Just right above the ammo uh, cylinder here, there is a slot and you can put it right here. And it slots in just like that. And the other side will fit into this uh, ammo box uh, slash backpack. As you can see, there is a peg to slot onto the figure. And you can see that there is the faction symbol right there on this ammo crate. It's basically, there's these nice cool black, <laughs> black straps here. Uh, nice white tampo with the faction. And there is a slot on the side of this ammo box where the ammo belt just slots in here. Just like that. That looks really cool. So that is all set up. So the smallest thing here, we have these nice rounds here, all kind of tied together. Uh, looks like it's all tied together with a uh, kind of like a black strap. And there's some nice paint detail here. It really looks like it's uh, copper and uh, really deadly type of rounds there. Next we have kind of the uh, kind of the ejection of these ammo. That looks really cool. Uh, it looks like it's in action. Very cool. And we have a massive blast effect here which fits on the minigun. You can see there is a tiny little peg here that fits into the barrel. No paint on this, just nice uh, kind of translucent orange type of effect. Next we have this deadly machete. I believe this came with uh, Pandora upgrade pack, I believe. Uh, it had a red handle, but this one's just a black handle with a silver blade and a little bit of a detail on the blade. So I almost forgot there are extra hands here. There are fisted hands. There are holding hands, which is awesome. Got cup hands. And lastly, with the accessories, we have a really a cool type of uh, uh, helmet slash mask looks like a goat horns goat type of skull very nice paint detail on here check out that wear type of uh, look to it you could see that there's kind of like a kind of straps here for his for his head and uh, that looks pretty scary like the devil one of the horns is broken check that out very cool that's one of the coolest things about this figure. So speaking of the figure, let's go ahead and take a look at the face sculpt. Let's get a nice zoom in shot of this figure's face. Check that out. Freaking awesome. Screaming. You see some teeth, uh, white teeth there, painted details. The face printing on this is phenomenal. He looks freaking pissed. No hair, <laughs> no five o'clock shadow. Check that out. So as we move down, he has this armor in black, silver, and this kind of turquoise type of red color. Pretty awesome. All these nice silver gunmetal plates. He has the faction printed on the chest there. Check that out. And on the back, same kind of type of detail. Very cool. Got some kind of shoulder pads going on there. Very cool. Awesome muscle arms. You got pinless double jointed elbows. Looks like he has a tattoo on his forearm there. Looks maybe barbed wire, let me know. He has these forearm kind of guards here in the same type of 
gunmetal color. Look, you got some uh, gunmetal knuckle dusters there, black gloves. You got the same kind of uh, maroon type of straps. No tattoo on the other arm, not that I can see, just on this one. And the armor is removable. Um, I will uh, remove this armor as soon as I am done reviewing the figure's details. You got some cool kind of black and gray camouflage pants. Very nice, very nice. Double jointed, pinless knees, and the same kind of style boots. Check that out, gun metal all the way. Pretty cool. Check that out. Well, let's go ahead and remove this armor and see what's under there. <laughs> I remember uh, messing around with some other figures and I forgot to remove the armor and people were like, oh, remove the armor. I'm like, oh, I completely forgot. So popping off the head here, it'll be a lot easier. Hey, check out some of my other uh, reviews of Action Force figures. I have a massive playlist of series one, two, and three, and I think four and five is coming, right? I think this uh, figure is part of series five. I believe. So here's the figure without the armor. Let's go ahead and just put the head back on. So the upper torso is just the plain um, regular buck for the uh, trooper building, the troopers. Uh, same maroon type color and black. So let's go ahead and gear up this figure. Uh, first thing I want to do, let's go ahead and put on his mask. Let's see how that looks. And later on this video, we are going to do a comparison with Bone Collector version 1. So check that out. I'm pretty sure that's on is about as good as I can get it. So that looks freaking phenomenal. Really cool. Check that out. You can see his eyes in the mask. Pretty freaking neat. So let's go ahead and put the minigun on the figure. First, we'll just throw on the backpack and uh, hopefully nothing falls off <laughs> while well, I gear this guy up. And there you go, the strap just came off. <laughs> All right, so one of the most frustrating things about this figure is getting this belt to stay in. There's no problem with this, uh, with putting it into this backpack here, but it's just, it's so shallow right here. It doesn't want to stay in very well. And I got him to hold on to his weapon, which is freaking awesome. So I changed the angle here to, so you guys can take a better look at this figure. And the blast effect just fits into one of these. I think there's only one of the barrels that fits in. There you go. I got lucky. And it fits right in one of the one, only one hole <laughs> in this weapon. That looks awesome. Amazing. And when I just knocked the figure, the belt just came right out really really easily it's very very frustrating maybe there is a fix for that maybe you can uh, glue it on is probably uh, a good idea so finally I fully geared up this figure with all his accessories and it was a little frustrating but eventually I was able to put the um, bullets here um, on the top and uh, get this uh, bullet belt put in and the little bit of extra bullets there on the cylinder it looks pretty phenomenal when you get it all together just be a little bit patient and uh, that's something I don't really have much of is patience <laughs> we have the machete I am not exa exactly sure where this would be stored um, I see it right now it's on the backpack there are kind of slots that fit in here to put the machete so the figure can hold all of his accessories i think that looks good i think i need to push it in a little bit more but whatever so there you have it guys this is a really phenomenal uh figure it looks awesome um a little frustrating with the gun of course <laughs> and uh this is totally worth it this is a valiverse exclusive and uh, it looks really good um did you guys were were you guys able to get this figure i hope you were so next thing right now let's go ahead and do a comparison with uh bone collector version one this is from series one the original not the remake or the reprint or whatever you want to call it uh these look awesome check that out and they have the awesome bone masks 
check out my past review on the bone collector that was when i uh i had to replace this gun i know that's not the original one but there was a break point right here that broke off live on camera this time so if you want to check that out um good thing i have a uh, plenty of extra weapons so that looks really awesome these guys are amazing so i want to thank everybody for watching my review Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what do you think of this figure. I think he looks awesome. And uh, yo, Joe, and it's time for action.